one for the bag. Good on you, mate. No! Ah! <laughs> he tried to grab me. <laughs> Reminds me of an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back uh, to Dog Fishing Adventures. We were trying to troll around in the river for Taylor. There wasn't nothing there. So we're just out here in our usual spot. Now it's very strange, it's early morning and we've got a southerly and we'll be turning southwesterly quite soon. So I mean, there's white caps already around here. So we're just going to be drawing the drift. Got the loyal sea anchor and um, going for a few, uh, few fish, squid. We've got Billy on board, Billy. There you go, mate. Let's get set and uh, start catching them. For all those new to the show, I am catching squid, I'm using squid jigs out in the ocean. There you go. Bombs away. That's what you need to do. Actually, jig them all, mate. Whoa! Got a beauty one here. What do you want to do, Billy? Just give it a few yanks. Oh, he's a big one. It could be a follow us soon. This one's a big one, a really good weight. Really good weight. Very challenging with this wind. Oh, he's really giving me a carry. Just get ready for yours to go off, Billy. The spoon will go blank. Oh, big one. Woo! Lovely. What do you reckon? Pretty good. Lovely. That didn't take too long at all. Alright. <laughs> We've got calamari for breakfast. Here we go. Now it's not thriving. It's such a cuttlefish where he doesn't know he's hooked. Or the cliche is to be pile of weed. Because I did let a lot of line out because we are drifting quite fast. He hasn't started to thrive yet. Isn't Bob yet? Why? Because it's a lump of weed! Oh, yeah. Danger! Yeah, what you got, Billy? Let's pick up. I oh, got a lot of fish. Alright, we'll get that one. I'll show people how we are. Uh, you can eat them. It was Billy's favourite when he was a kid. Beauty boy. That colour. Just leave it on the hook. And just leave it down there. Ooh. Ooh. Bit of right action there, Billy. Ooh. Oh yeah. Western King Rass. Nice. Big good on the chew. Bring them on board if you can with the net. That's a nice one. Nice. Now they're not bad eating. I've done a few episodes already on those, but yeah. Annoying to unhook. <laughs> They're very slimy buggers. Whoa. So Billy's on again. Let's see what it is. You gonna call it? Oh. Oh, what's that? A lot of fish. Nice. It's a nice chunky one. Look at that. Oh, Billy, it's alright. Yeah. It's a nice little fella. Look at little butterfish. Your favourite fish. Yeah, both hooks. <laughs> what a greedy guys. <laughs> you must love that squid. <laughs> the conditions are getting really uh, really rough out here. So we're going to move it a bit close. Uh, no, white caps in the morning is not the best. Not the best way to start. But safety is always important. Now just watch this. You know? Choppy as white caps are southerly, eventually will come from the southwest, and that gets really bad. But at the moment, it is usually I don't fish these conditions, but I'm pretty close to the entrance to make a quick a quick run away for home. Yeah, oh yeah, small butterfish. Baby. 
Yeah. I call Skippy. Um, oh, look at that colour. Nice red one, yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah, okay, amateur. <laughs> You're a bloody amateur. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Just let more line out on your rod. Nope. Finally, another squid. Well, it's not on the board yet. He's coming off the surface. Oh, yeah, he's well hooked. Small one. Lovely. Ah! <laughs> Butterfish. Billy the Butterfish Man. Yeah. <laughs> Fishes with the Fish Tucker Man. Oh, I've got one on the handline. Keeper. Oh, it's a butterfish. You got one? Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's more. Bit of broken bottom now. See that? Weed and sand. So we have to move again to another spot. Back to old school. Old school handline fishing. Look at that nice little colour there. What is he? Oh, we got a pinky. <laughs> we got a snapper. Nice little baby snapper. <laughs> Way under size, obviously. Still is very nice to see. What do you reckon, Billy? Really? Yeah, he's a darling. What do we have here? Oh, he came on the last bit. <laughs> That's prize fish. Pump whining. Didn't expect him in this area of the uh, the ocean. But that's a that's a fine specimen on that one. Oh, he has got some whining too. What do we got? Ah, okay, butterfish. Not a bad one. Billy, it's good. Uh, I got a butterfish. Okay. Oh, bit of splash. Oh. All right. Oh, another solid one. Not many today, but this is a got a bit of weight. This one. Lovely. <laughs> Woo. Oh, he sits on the leg, so I'm not gonna do underwater. Uh, it's all right, I'll go. Will you take the fuel? Uh, that's it. Very, very lucky catch on the leg because it usually can snap off and your squid goes. So, pretty happy you stayed on. Another one for the bag. Good on you, mate. No! Ah! <laughs> he tried to grab me. <laughs> I just can't stand tentacles wrapped around my hand, bugger. <laughs> it's my failure. My kryptonite. Squid tentacles wrapped around your hand. Reminds me of alien. <laughs> <laughs> Face hugger. Alright Billy, so you're on, eh? Yeah, it's a fish. It's a butter... What the hell happened here? A butterfish. You gotta bring him up. Oh yeah. Well, that could be uh, the last fish of the day. Mainly because this weather's getting choppy, and also we've caught 
I think we've got a, a sufficient feed. 44 or 5, I'll show you later on. 4 or 5 squid and a few other fish and a few whiting. So it's been great. <laughs> Yeah, you think you're going to leave and I'm just not going to let you leave. Keep I'm just thinking that would make a good, good thumbnail. Oh, big one. Alright, now we can leave. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, about a dozen butterfish. Got to quickly flood them up. Pretty easy. Done it before. One of my movies. What I do is cut down the fillet, flip it over, cut along the skin. There you go. Nice fillet. Trim the rib cage. No bones. Beautiful. Fish and chip stall. This is delicious. Okay, so now we've got the Western King Rass. Very slimy fish. Still very edible. Very white flesh. It is very soft as well. So you need to consume this quite fresh. Beautiful white meat. Sharp knife is important. Pretty mine is uh, not as sharp as I'd like. But look at that. Absolutely superb. We've got the fillets of the fish. That's the Western King Rouse, that's the butterfish. We're gonna put them into the flour, put them put them into an egg wash, and then my favourite, the good old panko breadcrumbs in the deep fryer <laughs> it's gonna be a good meal <laughs> let's get started so the butterfish over here chuck them like that that's all the fillets there the plain flour put in our panko breadcrumbs right here should be heaps very simple Go into the egg. There go and straight into the breadcrumbs, all that. Upside down, and that's beautiful. Look at that. Go straight into the fryer. Awesome, now look at that. That is superb. <laughs> Western King Rass. Panko, panko bread crumbs, deep fried. Lovely. I've already got a pre bread crumbs here, that's the butterfish. Try this one. More in. Oh yeah. Good boy. No one's around, so I'm just going to have a quick little taste. Look at that. Nice white, flaky, flashy meat. Fish. Any good? I'm going to love it. Take it this year. All yours. <laughs> love it. Sprinkle some lemon juice all over it. Lemon juice and fish always go hand in hand with salt. And I'm gonna grab this one here. Give it a test run. Crack it open. Look at that. Now you can't complain if this, as I said, butterfish is I usually um, discard them. And uh, I will keep bring home a couple of them every now and then. Oh thank you. Really nice. Anyway. I'm going to knock these off the family. You know what to do if you like the show? Take it easy. We'll see you next time. You beauty. Mmm.
I don't think I'm going to shoot. So, we'll see you next time. Take it easy.